Hi students, what we're going to do is we're going to install Anaconda. Creating a new recording for this. So just go to your browser and type anaconda.com. There you go to the Anaconda website. Next, what you do is click on Get Started and select download anaconda installers so depending on the kind of system you have you can select your installation most of us will be having a 64-bit uh, system unless we are on very old uh, computers and most of us will have windows so select 64-bit graphical installer okay so select this it will download it um, perhaps in your download folder you can put it in your download folder so depending on the speed of your internet as you can see the download will start and will take a couple of minutes if not seconds There you can see it's done and then I start the installer okay welcome to anaconda tree so it starts installation agree okay so do you want this installation just for you or for all users if there are other people using your computer then you can select that option okay And then it tells you uh, what is the destination folder. Okay, so <clears throat> you can give a destination if it's not your default C drive. Okay, if you don't have enough space, you can put it somewhere else. It would be wise to always put it in a solid state uh, disk drive. Okay, because that would be faster. Okay, so that's why I'm putting my C drive is a SSD. My D drive is a mechanical hard disk, so that would be much slower than C. So I would prefer SSD. If you want to add a part environmental variable, you don't need to do that. Okay, so register Anaconda tree as a system Python uh, 3.8. Um, now this one you, you may not want to select because you may have other Python software okay uh, or leave it as default because this may be the only Python software that you have on your computer okay in my case I've got other software but I still want Anaconda to be my default system Python and then the installation starts Again, this may take uh, from a couple of seconds or perhaps a couple of minutes, depending on the speed of your computer and the speed of the, your internet. So there you can see the installation is completed. Um, so that was completed successfully so click on next and then it tells you working with Python and Jupyter notebooks is a breeze with PyCharm Pro so if you want to install PyCharm you can go and install PyCharm as well I already have PyCharm on my system okay so Here are some helpful tips and resources to get you started. We recommend you bookmark these links. Okay, if you want to bookmark them, you can bookmark them. In my case, I don't need it. So, we finish it. And then we go and 
look at our anaconda system okay if you go down here you can see your anaconda is installed okay so you can see you have got your anaconda navigator you have got your powershell anaconda powershell anaconda prompt okay uh, you have got your anaconda spider and you have got your jupyter notebook now these two editors are the main uh, editors that you're going to work with okay these are the main um, graphical user interface um, uh, environments okay that you're going to work with let's open our spider There you can see spider 4 is opening okay so this is the program which I had before okay a plot so I just run it and it plots so the program works without any issue okay so uh, your basic installation is done and you can start using it